Well, hello everyone and welcome to Banished. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this game, myself included. So we're going to go through a brand new game. Now, I haven't watched many of the tutorials on this, uh, so I don't know a whole lot about it. And that might sound strange considering we're going to start a video, but I figured much like the SimCity series that I have, of course I know how to build in that game, we'll be going through this together. We'll, we'll see what's going on. You can check the game out, see if you'd like to buy it if you haven't bought it already. And we'll start a Let's Play, and let's get in here, and we're going to start a brand new game, see what's going on. And I guess we have a town's name, which you can edit if you want, or you can auto-generate. I'm just going to leave it, that's fine, Timminsville sounds good to me. The map seed, I have no idea what that is. So we're going to just leave that as it is. Uh, I've, I've seen that you can go valleys or mountains. I'm going to stick with valleys for now. I'm going to stick with a small terrain size because we're all getting a feel for this so we have no idea quite what's happening yet. So I don't want to complicate things too much and, and bore you guys to death with this. So we're going to keep a small terrain size. The climate shall be fair. Sounds good. Uh, disasters I guess are going to be on. We'll leave it on. This is the, this is the generic starter. I almost want to go easy here. But I'm going to avoid that temptation. I'm going to start off with medium because I figure what the heck. Uh, We'll just move forward and see what we see what we get. So let's click OK. Let's load it in the game here, and let's start from scratch. I have just some of the basic ideas as to what is going on. I've used uh, the beginning tutorials to figure out how I can move around and rotate and zoom and those sorts of things. And I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to pause the game just like I do in SimCity, so I can take a look at our map and see what we've got going on here. Uh, we've got a big area, and I don't know how far out we can go. Okay, so that's as far as we can go this direction and this direction. So even a small map size, if you, like me, are a little more used to SimCity maps, this is pretty gosh darn big for a small, and there's a medium and large thereafter. I think this is going to be a perfect size map for us to get acquainted with the game and get started. So let's zoom in here now and see what we've got. We've got some people. <laughs> of course, right? Now I know that this is our simulation speed. These are tools and reports, and these are the different things that we're going to be going through, of course. Uh, general statistics. These windows pop up, and what's nice is you can move them. The only thing I kind of wish that they did is if you put up two, they don't have a snap to, so they align with, you, with each other. I think that would be neat. Um, but I, I, I'm just, you know, these are little things, nitpicky things for a, for a brand new thing. This is our map right here, shows the area in which we are. Looks like we can click, click to different areas, that's good news. That'll be handy at some point, I'm sure. This is our jobs, these, these are who we have and what do they do. Let's move this over here, and let's move this up here. We currently have 10 laborers, so we've got 10 people. Now, as you can see, we also have some children. They can't do anything yet. But we have 10 laborers that we can assign to various jobs as we create them, because we also don't have any jobs yet. We don't have anything built. <laughs> All we're doing is talking and going over the menu, but that's that's the point of a beginner series. All right, so this shows the limits on our resources when we start to harvest them and whatnot. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, increase our priorities, paths. At some point we're going to have to build roads and it'll show us roads, I'm guessing. So so let's get out of the settings menu. I'm going to keep these two up for now so I can have a general idea of what's going on. I want to know how many people we have at any point. Right now in early spring of year one, we've got our health and happiness of our citizens and uh, some other things like temperature. These are the resources we have right now. We've got some logs, we've got some firewood which is good for the winter because we're going to need it. Stored food we have enough. Well. I don't know if it's enough, but these are the things we have. So going from the tutorial, it seems the first thing obviously we're going to need to build is a house, because this symbol above their heads is obviously telling us these sons of guns are homeless. They're hobos, and we've got to we've got to get them some some shelter, uh, lest they die in the harsh conditions. So we're going to go to our homes, houses, homes and housing tab, and we're going to click on a wooden house because that's what we're going to start building now. I forget already, and now we can rotate using R and T, and I already forget how to cycle through, I think it was F, it is, the F button, look at that, I retained some information. You can change 
what style of house that you set up in the beginning. There's a few different models you can start with. Uh, I'm going to start with a basic one. And I'm not sure what this center building is. It looks like we've already got something going on here. So, oh, hey, look at that. Let's resume. And this is our storage barn. So we actually have a storage barn to start, which is great. Because we have some things in there. This must be because we have it set on medium and not hard. They're giving us a little bit of a leg up. We have a, a stockpile here with some firewood, iron, logs. Yeah, so this is actually going to help us uh, along with our build to start with. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build a house very close to this barn. And I think my goal is going to be I'm going to run a street right down the middle here. Streets help the citizens move quickly to and from. So let's place the house right there. And you know what? We're going to do two houses. Now, the other thing that I kind of wish that the game did is you can see... See if I can work on... I'm still learning the new keys because these are, these are obviously a little different than uh, other games we might have played. You can see the indentation here in the grass. That's gonna, that shows us where the, the path or the, the footprint, rather, of our house. And that's great. I wish there was a little bit more of a graphic that would highlight that because I have noticed in some of the, the videos that I did view, the few videos that I viewed, when you're getting into thicker areas and you place something down, it can be a little trickier to see where you've just placed something before the area clears and it's actually being built. So... That's all right. Again, this is this is a new game. It's a work in progress, and who knows what changes will be made, if any at all. So, let's get back in. We're going to grab another wooden house. We have one right here, and I'm going to line another one up right there. Now, I don't know if these roads... Actually, you know what? I think the roads go where the green is. So, I've got this set back, but that's all right. We'll have a little jog around there. It doesn't have to be perfect to start, because we don't know exactly how anything's gonna look. So let's go ahead and put down another wooden house. And I'm noticing we right click to get out of the menu because when you hit escape it takes you right to our game menu, which is, can be handy. But I'm um, used to other games, you hit escape and it's, just, it's a deselection tool. We're right clicking here. So, so now let's get the game going. And I'm gonna play it just in a slow speed. Actually I'm gonna pause it one more second because I know I also have to... Well we do have some resources in the stockpile but in order to clear an area. And I've, I've forgotten how to do that, so we're going we're gonna to look at that. See, we have town services. These are things we don't want to do. I think we want to go in here. Removal and destruction. This removes structures. Resources. This is what we want. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to clear this entire area because I already have a feeling this is where I want my town center to be. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. And we've got a storage barn and a stockpile to, to put it someplace. And then we'll look and see where we're going to place other things like a forester's lodge, herbalist, gatherers. There's all sorts of things going on in this game. It's fairly intense, so it should be a pretty neat uh, Let's Play series. And I'm sure there will be plenty of them abound. So let's go ahead and we're going to get in here. It looks like we've got all kinds of stuff to clear out. Well, let's do that. Get back into the game. Let's hit play. We're going to speed it up to 5 speed and see how we do. So right now we've got laborers. We don't have any builders, so we're going to upgrade two builders. We have a maximum of four. So we've got two people now that are going to be building houses. So I'm going to kind of let those go. And you can see that they're not only clearing, but they're using from the stockpile to build these houses. And the game volumes are just a little low, so I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to go to options. And the effect volume, ambient volume, it's just a little loud for in my headphones, so I can't quite, I don't want to yell into the microphone, so <laughs> I'm, I'm spiking the red meters. So let's hit apply, let's go OK, and let's see, that's a little better. I still might lower it even more yet, but we'll tinker with that off camera, we don't have to worry about that right now. So now I'm going to take this game back down to just the single speed, because they're getting really close to having this already taken care of. And I'm going to take a look at my little cheat sheet, I wrote down some uh, information during the tutorial, and I want to see what sorts of things we want to go to next. Well, you know, and I should have known this, we're going to need food, right? I guess we can let them clear while we're, while we're figuring this out. Food. We need food. Now, obviously, the apple is going to be our food production. We have different ways of believe. crop fields. We have an orchard, livestock, pastures. A uh, fishing dock is quite a popular one, and I'm going to actually place a fishing dock now. And obviously, to, to place a fishing dock, you need to be able to go onto the river. And I haven't done this yet, so let's rotate and see. So it looks like this is how it works. You stick it a little bit into the river, and we're going to have our road behind it, and I think I'm going to go right about here with it, and we'll put that down. Obviously, I want to hit escape again. Right-clicking. <laughs> so now we see, I haven't taken a look. Our river runs, yeah, we've got it running right through here, which is great, because we're also going to need this for 
our trading post, which is going to help us out with getting new things, uh, all sorts of different things. We can trade for livestock and seeds so we can grow things. Um, so that'll be good. So we've got two houses. Now if I click on a house, looks like we have Muhammad, Jesse, and, and Fletchel here. It tells us who they are, their sex, their age, and then the inventory of the house. So it's only got three occupants, and this house has two. So I don't know how many houses we need to start with, but we still have people who are homeless. I don't want homeless people, clearly. It doesn't seem to be good in any game, so I'm going to go in, and we're going to make a couple more wooden houses. Uh, I think I will go ahead and place them. I'm going to start a row for now, and I'm also going to change the style. That'll be just to mix it up. Let's build a house here. And so now we've got two more houses. I don't know yet if there's a shortcut. F1 takes us to the menu, so that's good, I guess. So now we've got people going on here. Well, interesting, you can... Well, here's an interesting quick tip for you. <laughs> when the game is paused, you can select the speed you'd like to play it when you resume. So I know I want to play at 5 speed to have this speed up so they can not only continue taking down resources, but building these houses. And then I can simply hit play. That's good. I kind of like that. We can see little tool marks here. It means they're going to obviously cut down some trees. And how are we doing here? We're doing well. How are we doing? They're starting to come out here. We won't need fishermen, obviously, until this is built. And I think that we're able to set priorities at some point. But they're clearly building on this, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that go. And I think from here quick pause because, and I'm only pausing, I hate to do that so much to you guys, but I'm only pausing because this is so new to me, I don't want to have too much time lapse and things get away from me uh, and ruin the game because that wouldn't make for a very good uh, let's play, you know, well it's not quite a tutorial, but a let's play system, so we've got food, roads, okay, that's not bad, uh, we've already got a barn, which is great, a woodcutter wouldn't be bad because you know what, we need a woodcutter for is firewood in the winter. So let me see if I can find, remember, that might be down in, is that, no, remove resources, harvest trees, it might be here. Huh. I've already forgotten who does what. So, <laughs> we'll go through this together and figure this out. Woodcutter, that would make sense. There's some trees, he's the first option. We use a woodcutter. Chop logs, it tells us right here, uh, chop logs into firewood, which which we already knew. So we click on that, and that's another building. Now I'm going to take this building, and I'm going to rotate it, and we're going to flip this around, and I'm going to rotate this camera around like this, zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to put that behind my barn. And I'm not even going to put a road between them, I'm going to put a road around them. We'll put that there. And I right clicked, I didn't hit escape, that's good news. Let's get back into the game here, play this and see how we do because I've got all kinds of things going on at the same time and I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because you got fishing over here, woodcutter over here, more houses over here because I don't want to have homeless people. And if you click on them, of course, they tell you what they are. we got a kid who's not working and doing anything. Citizen! Scarly's just walking around trying to find something to do. I don't, I don't blame her. So they're doing a good job going through clearing out stuff. Okay, I guess that's good news. What else could we use? We could use a blacksmith. And I know that we could use a blacksmith because all the jobs that we have here require tools. And it seemingly rains a lot here. We're in late spring, so I guess that's to be expected. But it, it rains a whole bunch here. But we need a blacksmith to make more tools because as the tools are used, they wear down. And eventually they become either useless or storage for logs, stone, and iron is near capacity. Well, that's a good thing, I think, right? We might have to big a, build a larger stockpile. This one isn't very big. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. Also, what we can do instead is just build more stuff, and that's what we're going to do. Quick pause. Let's go into buildings. These are houses and homes. I want, I want a blacksmith, and that's going to be the anvil right here. So let's get a town blacksmith, and you know what? We might as well place him right next to the woodcutter. Let's rotate our camera, and... We're going to line him up right with that. Now we've got a little bit of space back in there. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. 
don't know if I want to pack everything, you know, just back to back. It might be a little confusing. So I'm going to line this up with this, put it down right there. Right, Kip. I guess I should probably... I, maybe I'll try to stop pausing so much and I'll just slow the game down if I feel the, the need to do it. But we've got stuff going on. Now this question mark means, hey, this is built. We've got nothing going on. We have no fishermen. We need some people to fish. And you can go here. And this is our limit. Okay, so I think you're able to go in here and choose uh, how many. The limit is four. I'm taking it down to two. I guess this is how many workers. So let's increase that. Now we have two fishermen. Click work. They're going to start coming here. Okay, so it's uh, when it's when it's illuminated, when it is yellow or yellow, when it's white. Remember my SimCity video when I said I know shapes, colors, and numbers. I might have been lying to you. This is how much we're going to store, and that's 5,000, and I don't think we're going to get quite that high, of course, with just two fishermen, but for now, that's okay. So, we've got some people that are hopefully going to come out here, and they're going to start fishing. And I don't know why these say that they're homeless. We shouldn't have, I mean, we've got houses here. We might just need more and more houses. We might need more houses than I'm used to uh, on, on a, in a game like this, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Let's speed this up and get these guys a building and a moving. Uh, how many builders do we have? We still only have two builders. Let's upgrade our builders so we have less people trimming the area down because we don't need them because we're clearing that area pretty well. And more people building the things that we need. So, as you can see, we're going to start having a little town center here. And that's great. Hmm, blacksmith Taylor. Taylor is another important building. But you know, before I do the Taylor, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fiddle with roads for a quick second. Is that this one here? Roads and bridges. Let's create some dirt road and let's see what we get. Let's go here. There's a straight row along there. And here, we'll come right up front and we'll go out here a little bit. And we're going to put a little street here. And let's go right in front of here. So for now, we're going to box this off. So they can now quickly and easily get a little faster to, if they're taking the road, this, the, the, I almost called them sims, the citizens can quickly move down the road to get to their... Uh, to get their respective buildings and, and do their jobs, so that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Right click, and yeah, we're full up. We just need to build some more stuff. We have piles of stuff everywhere. <laughs> we need more buildings, you know. All right, well then let's make them. Let's make some more houses. Let's rotate this so it's right on the road. So we'll put a house there. Oh, oh look at that! I got very lucky. That was complete happenstance. Uh, I think I will face this one on this road though. I'm going to change the shape of this house. Bam. And can I fit one in there? Look at that. I can. But I'm going to wait because four houses, that's, well, it's a total of six now. That might be plenty. Uh, you would think. I mean, we only have, jeez, how many people do we have? Well, we have a few. Is there a total? Thirteen people? We have thirteen adults, five children. So that should be enough to really help some people along with uh, their living situation. So we'll have this continue to build. And... I said Taylor, didn't I? So, town service? No, it's not a town service. It's a, it's, it's a resource production, interestingly enough. So let's grab a tailor. And we can't put a tailor in there because we put a house, well, we have room for a house in there. Let's go over here with our tailor. Look at the size of that stockpile. We're really getting somewhere with that. Let's rotate this. And the green arrows work great because we're going to put that right on the road. Bam. Now we've got somebody who can make clothes because that's... What happens is, uh, and I of course read this, during the winter time, which is going to happen before too long, um, we get to a point where they have to come inside to warm up before they can go out and continue to work. And the clothing, having fresh clothing, having clothing that is, is quality clothing, enables them to stay out longer, to do their work longer before they need to come in, which is a good idea. So I think I'm going to get a road going from our... Fishing, fishing post, fishing house. What is that? There we go. Hopefully that'll help speed up the process of getting our resources because we want to make sure that we're quickly and efficiently getting the things we need from here to here. Let's take a look. What's going on with our barn? We have a lot of potatoes. We only have five fish. It's 15% full. These are the things that we do have. I don't know what we can have. Interesting. A little target there. It centers it on the screen. So. But that's okay. So look at that. We've cleared out our area, and now we can start building more roads and more houses and that sort of thing. Uh, 
very interesting. I keep using that word, I know, but it's, this is all brand new to me as well. So let's see, we've got our woodcutter, we've got a blacksmith, we've got a tailor. How about an herbalist? Do we have enough people for all of these different things? Because we have to assign jobs, I have to keep that in mind, that until these guys start reproducing and making babies, we only have so many people to do the jobs that are necessary. We still only have 13 adults. Now the children will grow, but we need to make new, new people. They're worried about winter. And that's going to come from our woodcutter. We're going to assign one woodcutter because he's going to take our stockpile of lumber and turn it into wood to be used to heat these homes. Uh, and as we get into autumn, this is obviously when they're going to start worrying about it. So we've got that going on, and it is working. Fuel limit is 200. That's a default, so I'm going to go with it now before, because I, I don't know which limits we should have and which we shouldn't have just yet. So. Hopefully that problem will be alleviated soon. Their health is going down just a touch, a half a heart, which is also why I was looking at the herbalist. Because what the herbalist does is obviously they go out and they collect from, uh, and they only do it for mature forests. They collect all the sorts of herbs and things like that that are going to help replenish uh, the nature or the, the health of the, the citizens here. So I'm going to have to pick an area. I don't want to go too crazy far, but I'm going to put it out here. And what that means is, when I start to grow, I'm going to kind of have to grow in this area because you don't want to tear into this because it comes from old growth. And if you cut this down and plant new growth, of course, that's not going to give us what we want. So let's see if we can't go in here and find Herbalist. So they get a little cabin, and we're going to put them... Well, actually, I would like to put them for a scenic view. I'd like to put them right on the water, but you see the yellow circle? That's their effective area. Putting them on the water to make it look pretty isn't going to do us any good. We need to have them in, in the heart of, of, of a wooded area. Matter of fact, I'm going to zip around real fast and see if there's an even better wooded area. Because we want efficiency. I don't want to yet cross the river because, well, number one, we don't have a bridge. Yeah, I think for now, unless, unless I go here, which is really far. No, let's go here. We're going to start with here. And that's looking like a pretty good area. So let's plop down our herbalist. And then also... We could go with, I guess we could go with a Forester's Lodge. That goes in a different area, though. Um, we could do Hunters, Gatherers. You know, we could do a lot of different things. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to wind down this episode, and I'll have another one before too long. I think we've got a fairly decent start on what's going on. I'll continue to read, but not play the game. I'm going to read up on what has to be done, what doesn't have to be done, what does what, so I have a, you know, a little better idea. We're figuring this out as we go, which is also fun, but I'll try to do a little homework for you, make sure that we have some ideas of, of good things to do. But I won't play the game until we're on camera, because much like my SimCity Starter Series, I want you guys to see what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and why I'm doing it. And of course, as always, leave comments for me. If you have something you'd like to see, if you have a tip, if you know something I don't, for the love of God, please tell me so I can make not only the series more entertaining, but more efficient and fun for both of us. And of course, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we're going to see you next time for another episode of Banished.